I smiled with songbird Eve Evangeline Einstein in New York City, mainstreaming clues to you. When you're raising your children, they're green as green tea, but raise them to be the best versions of themselves that they can be. All right, so the name of this uh, report, peace, speech, pussy's not food, fool. Somebody thought the father, father approved of a body designed to be made love to by the spouse putting their mouth on the pee hole. How cruel do you think the sun god is? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Manliness would never eat so close to where you sit. Get your mouth out from down there. No wonder it's hard to get a kiss in the mouth on your face. Sex with your spouse shouldn't leave a bad taste in your mouth. That's bullshit. Pussy's not food, fool. Eat some watermelon and go to school. You eat pussy, you suck dick, then kiss the baby. Don't wonder the baby gets sick. She could smell that piss and shit. Notice a dog who likes to smell shit. Holes. Like to lick the mouth with piss and shit kissed. No wonder. What to do? This in her head, Govinda made clear why. He gave her another man, a wife. This is a new topic, by the way. And this is Govinda saying as Jesus Christ. So he gave her another man in addition to him. A wife shouldn't be left alone while her husband goes home to his other wife. He can't walk out and divorce his first wife just because he loves her, Eve, Mary, the Michelle Birdsong. Then he, if he did that or snuck around and pretending she's the only one, he'd be no better than the guy who broke her heart, her first husband, Edwin Birdsong, a sneak, a snake. So he did not, for, so Gorinda did not forsake his first family. Then he gave her an immaculately conceived baby. Then, without Eve, Mary, the Michelle, Birdsong knowing any of what was going on. I don't like hell. Okay, I think I'm on another topic. So he gave me a baby. He married me. Okay, and says, I'm his number one wife. Since he's Jesus Christ, that's good enough for me. I, I'm not saying he's good enough for me. I'm saying the deal is good enough for me because he's promised he would never neglect me. And he always keeps his promises. So, you see. And he gave me another man, Michael Bublé Adam, my first man, when I was Eve. You see. So we're... We both have the same needs, we, and we feel comfortable in each other's presence because we were the first couple to be together. So, so when we're... Okay. All right, so let me move on. I don't like hell. As a child, I attended church two sometimes, three times a week. Once I went on a Saturday night to church with my living male god, Brother Wright. Now my son sing bird songs. Okay, so that's all I wrote. So I suppose I have to elaborate on what happens next. So I started to believe that um, church was almost like heaven. I mean, it was so official. And everything that was said to me there... I took to heart. We didn't discuss it. 
We didn't discuss the concepts of preacher, especially the blind, all of the preachers, Elder Hooden, uh, Hooden Annie, and Elder uh, Nesbitt, and um, Elder Burton, who was blind, whose wife looked like a, whose, whose wife neglected herself to keep him shine, shiny shoes, nice clean suit and tie. She kept them immaculate. And uh, all he had to do was stand there and scare people. But everybody wasn't scared by him. I was. I was five years old. And he screamed, to hell for a burning hell for eternity. And my mind, my imagination, produced hell for eternity. Because I had no boundary from his voice to my um, manifestation. That's how it worked. And that was to be my condition until recently, where whatever I heard, I, I took into me as a part of my reality from certain people, especially black people, the cursed people, the first people uh, who were uh, Jews and the ones that killed Christ. Okay, so I think I've said enough. Remember, pussy's not food, fool. Okay, I'll talk to you. You can read, you can check out the previous video to know how to make love to your wife. It's called Tickle My Clit Until I Come and You Will Be My Number One. That's what you're supposed to do down there. You're not supposed to put your mouth down there. <laughs> Okay, so long. Uh...